tribulations make us better people. I think you will agree with me, you are not better than the Apostle Paul. Maybe if you are a good man, the Apostle Paul is better than you, better than me also. Now, if the Apostles were given the power to heal sicknesses, to resurrect believers, to resurrect the dead and to perform miracles, the real apostles of the Lord. As good as they were, they also suffered tribulations. Let us read from the Apostle Paul's experience as he journeys on this earth. 1126 of 2 Corinthians. In journeyings often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. That was the life of the Apostle Paul, one of the greatest men who lived on earth. I think he's better, much, much better than me and much, much better than you. And some of the first century Christians are, I think, better than we. But all of them suffered tribulations. It is not because that God has forsaken us or He left us in distress, but there is an intent of the Lord why He let His people or good men suffer tribulations. Let us read the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. You see that, though? Experiencing all throughout his entire life, tribulations, problems, yeah, hardships in life. He said in Corinthians that he is always in peril or in danger wherever he goes. He is in distress. He suffer nakedness, hunger, etc. But understanding God's purpose he later proclaimed to the Romans, We glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience produces experience, and experience makes hope, and hope maketh not ashamed. You see that? So there is God's intention of allowing us to suffer tribulations. Tribulations make us better people. With that virtue of patience. And that virtue of patience make it also the virtue of being experienced. And our experience produces hope. 